Alright, well I haven't updated in a little while, but uh, I really haven't gotten anything done on this thing. So work's been absolutely just rocking me. So anyway, I uh, did pick up a new project. This one is not a muscle car by any means. Uh, it's actually a Mercedes 450 SE. Uh, dirt cheap car though, so couldn't pass it up. But let's take a look at it. Okay, so here we have the uh, Mercedes. It's a 450 SE 1973. Uh, it's actually in really good shape. The body's in good shape. The interior is really nice. Uh, you know, I mean, dirt cheap. Couldn't pass it up. So. But it has one little quirk, and that would be it doesn't stay running, which is a typical thing for the, uh, I guess it's the D-Jet fuel injection. Uh, I've gone through a little bit. I readjusted the trigger points for the fuel injectors and uh, took a, little, a few other things. What I want to do is I need to do a few tests on this. I know, I have a good idea of what it is. Uh, it wasn't the trigger points, but that was the first thing I wanted to try. So I'm thinking that it's going to be either the fuel pump, the fuel pump regulator, and while I'm at it, I want to clean the uh, the AAC valve and uh, cold start injector and a few other things, and uh, you know just go through and kind of knock out some uh, some possible things that are wrong with it. So uh, let's get started. Jetronic. So anyway, I messed around with the uh, distributor, pulled the distributor out, got the trigger points out. Uh, they were actually fairly decent. They tested out okay, so I just readjusted those. Uh, the wiring harness there does the uh, uh, the uh, whatever that stuff they put on it, almost like like clay, just fell off when I was taking it apart. So. Thinking to uh, put silicone all around that, and then uh, you know seal it from moisture. So anyway, here's the uh, valve I'm going to pull, and I'll get that pulled apart, clean it out good, make sure it's make sure it's free, and then throw that back in there. Uh, this would be the math sensor, which I I haven't tested this except for pulling the vacuum line. Uh, it does hold vacuum, the diaphragm isn't blown or anything. Uh, plus when it is idling, when it warms up, uh, it idles real rough. Uh, pull the vacuum line, car dies. Uh, you can keep the car running by keep uh, spraying, you know, like a... I put throttle body cleaner in there, but I just keep spraying it in there. So I know it's a fuel problem. Since it runs with, uh, you know, spraying into the throttle body. But it... it idle is real rough and it won't uh, won't stay running on just its own so uh, I'm guessing it has to do with the uh, fuel pump or the regulator but I want to go ahead and do a few other things to this thing and get it you know so when it does get running that there's no other issues so here we have the DJetronic uh, system here's, here's a fuel rail fuel injectors oh, excuse me throttle body back here is the regulator and the uh, diaphragm uh, I guess anti-bubbler or whatever you want to call it uh, pretty sure this is going to be the problem so I did pull the line off and it does push pressure I haven't done a fuel pressure test on it yet but I do want to try to get that done today um, you know it should be running around between 28 and 30 probably set it at 30 uh, if it's not that, then I'm guessing it's going to definitely be the fuel pump. Uh, it has a new filter. It also has a new, uh, whatever the, uh, uh, this would be the coolant, temp yeah, coolant temperature sensor. And then the, uh, I have to look this one up, air temperature sensor, whatever. And actually, that would be this one. But anyway, these are new. And so like I said, I'm going to clean this, uh, this auxiliary air valve. I don't know if it's sticking or not, but I, I want to get it off of there. These have a tendency to stick, so we'll get that. And 
Yeah, let's get started. All right, so we have the auxiliary air valve off. Focus. Here. Okay. Uh, hard to do this with one hand. Can you get a GoPro? All right. So let me uh, pause here. All right, so bam, there we go. Those are off. I'm gonna leave the cold start injector on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crank this thing up while it's starting. Put this thing in a cup and see if I get a decent spray pattern. Uh, hopefully this is hopefully this is still good. So uh, let's go over here and. Start uh, taking this this valve apart and cleaning it out. So I have the uh, the valve in my press. So basically, this plunger or this inner ring here uh, presses through. Just use a three quarter inch socket. It'll press through until the bottom pops all the way out. if I can do this with uh, with one hand here I'm gonna break this thing so uh, I'll get it out a little bit and come back okay so basically just keep pressing until it goes through this is horrible quality <laughs> Having a hard time holding it here. So slowly going through. And then I'm going to have to uh, put this down so I can catch the, uh, the bottom part as it falls out. So be right back. Basically it just falls out in your hand like this. There's that. Let's take this over to the bench. Jumped up a little bit, but not too bad. Put the spring in here and see if it moves free. Well, that's a little sticky, so I'll we'll clean this thing up and uh, back so we have this all cleaned up obviously took a uh, real fine thousand grit paper and went over the aluminum to get out any like burrs oh yeah I almost forgot to tell you don't forget to uh, mark this thing before you take it apart so you can get everything back yeah, the way it goes Line up your two marks. So now I just got to get this thing back together, put it back on, and then I'm going to mess with the fuel pump. And it works super nice now. No sticking. So 
Okay, so what we're going to do here, I just took the hammer, got it started. This needs to be completely flush with the uh, base. So I'm going to press that down until it's flush. And then, uh, of course, the spring and the uh, piston. The spring and the piston go in, and then that's pressed, and then bam. Pretty simple. Alright, it's like horribly dark, but just pulled the fuel pump and the filter and the damper cage. Can't really see. Man, it's like way too dark. But, uh, guess the pump out pump's working. Uh, definitely needs a fuel filter though. It was, uh, it's, it looks pretty old, and then, uh, the fuel that came out of here was, was toast. So basically just drain the whole tank through the line and uh, get some new fuel in here and see what that does. Here's another shot of it. I think I said earlier it was a 5.4 liter, actually 4.5 liter. So I kind of screwed that up. But Yeah, it's a good looking car though. Yeah, I might totally beat, but today I got a lot done. I got the fuel pump, the filter, the uh, damper pulled off. I cleaned up the uh, ACC valve and uh, got that freed up. I went ahead and checked the uh, ECU's harness and Everything checked out, all the sensors, all that were good. So I'm done for the night, but I'm gonna get back at it. As soon as I get the filter in, I can uh, go ahead and pop that back on, pressure it back up, and do a uh, fuel pressure test, and hopefully that does it, but until next time. So don't forget to hit that like button and uh, subscribe. Be getting some more things done on this old here soon. I just want to get this Mercedes uh, kind of out of the way, need it running. So, uh, once that's finished up, back to this. So, uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Uh, trying to get posted what I can, you know, when I can. Uh, this channel hasn't been going very long, I just got it started. So, you know, bear with me, but. Wouldn't mind having more people, uh, you know, checking it out. And if you guys uh, like what you see, definitely subscribe, and I'll keep the videos coming.